Do you wish that you could actually retain information instead of always forgetting? Where did I put my lunch? Are you continuously played by your inability to remember where you put things? Where did I put my tea? Are you worried that your failure at recalling important incidents could compel you to watch an awful episode of an overrated television program? Do you always find yourself lost and confused when you thought you knew what you were doing? Where was I going? Maybe you demonstrate a lack of attention to critical cues which causes absent-mindedness. Or maybe you didn't think about what you were doing enough for it to actually sink in. Or maybe you're just old and begin to develop Alzheimer's and your hippocampus gets damaged and it interferes with your ability to develop long-term memory. Hi, it's Alyssa Wynn. Julian Palmer! We're going to teach you why you have this constant frustration. So it happens all the time. You come back from a long winter break and you just can't seem to remember your own locker combination. Oh, I can't remember my combination. Many studies have suggested that the passage of time causes forgetting, a theory which is commonly referred to as decay theory, in which information not used is generally lost. This can occur in an even shorter time span, as tested in experiments known as distractor studies. In one case, subjects initially studied a sequence of letters before asked to perform another unrelated task that involves counting backwards. By the end of a certain time period, the participants had trouble recalling the initial letters. But that's not the only possible explanation, indeed. Perhaps you were knocked in your head a few times, or ambushed by an angry friend, fully equipped with an arsenal of pillows. In this scenario, you can experience retrograde amnesia. How did I get here? In which you can't recall events preceding an injury. But you don't lose any earlier memories. Right you are. But what if environmental factors cause you to forget? Let's say that on every school day, you usually park in the exact same parking spot. But one day, a vicious high schooler takes your beloved spot and you're forced to park in an entirely different location. You may completely forget that you parked in a new spot because you're so used to parking in your old familiar spot. This happens when old information interferes with new information because you mentally trained yourself to walk towards your usual parking spot every day after school. You may even absentmindedly do what Amanda does in this common situation. I love Not the moment of like waking up and like finding out that you have a snow day. Oh my god, I totally forgot. I didn't even park in the fishbowl today. That was a case of proactive interference. But you can also experience retroactive interference. So true! This occurs when new information interferes with old information that's already stored in your long-term memory. Like, you know when you learn your phone number and you can't remember the old one? Great example! Go When trying to learn something new or memorize important material, your brain unconsciously picks up information about your surroundings. These cues help you in the future when you want to retrieve the material from your long-term memory. So if you learn something in one context, you may have trouble remembering that information in a different place or state. You mean like Africa? First of all, that's a continent. Oh, like Alaska! No. Like when you're studying for a test in your house, drinking coffee to stay awake. When you finally go to school and take the test in a classroom, you may not be able to remember the material as well because you're not in the same state of mind as you were when you studied under the influence of caffeine. Oh, now I get it. But we still haven't talked about reconstruction. Excellent observation. Reconstruction occurs when you replace a real memory with incorrect information. Sometimes, you remember events that never really took place, or you have trouble telling the difference between what actually occurred and what you just imagined. Like when I waited for Santa to come down the chimney, and then you told me I was Jewish? Like when I waited for weeks for my Hogwarts letter, and then you told me it wasn't real? Right! Oh yeah, remember that time we had our dance recital? And right before, I spilled Sunny D all over my costume. 
Oh, I don't think it happened like that. Really? Oh yeah, I must have imagined it. See, I told you so. So that's the end of our informative broadcast. Wait, it's over? Not quite. Here are some final words of wisdom as we depart. Make sure to secure your seatbelts and keep your hands and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Have a great ride! If you want to remember the reasons of why you forget, just gotta watch an infomercial, you'll be totally set. Decay and retrograde and you be messing with your brain. Interference of information could leave you mentally strained. Situation the fact is that reconstruction to screw up. Your memories negatively impact you, but you won't remember this even if you pay close attention. Your short to memory doesn't have the kind of retention of words. But out so fast, it goes way past your comprehension. Completely boggles your mind like you entered a new dimension. So you want to recall all the items that just defined. All you gotta do is go back and hit rewind. Why are you telling me to call? We're not selling anything. We're not? We're not?